Hi you guys, it's Chelsea from Solana Dare. Um, I am going to show you the Magno Turbo Flat Iron by Sutra today. Um, what's unique about this iron is it heats up in only five seconds. Um, this iron's good for all hair types and it has extended plates. So a lot of time when we're doing beach waves um, or even straightening long hair, um, your hair will slip out of the iron and make it a little bit more difficult if the plates aren't long enough. Um, so this iron um, is great because that won't happen. Um, it has infused titanium plates, turbo heating element. It heats up in less than five seconds and um, the cord is a swivel cord, so that makes it easy. And um, adjustable temperature, what else, dual voltage, and it's safe for all hair types. So I'm going to um, show you a little style that I do. Um, this is my natural hair. I took out my extensions for quarantine. So I'm just gonna show you how I do a quick, um, easy style hack to pretend to do a French braid on my hair. I get asked um, when I wear that look all the time how I created that. And it's easy to do without a mirror. It doesn't take much skill. And um, I'll show you how to create that. Um, so first off, I'm going to start sectioning my hair in three. The top is the crown. This is how I section my hair for everything, um, or even my client's hair, anybody's hair. You section the top part, the round point of your head, straight around. Um, the next section is gonna be the top of your ear, all the way around. And I just use that same clip. I twist my hair and I clip it up into the existing clip. And then I have the bottom section. And you just leave that part down. Let's test this thing out. You push the power button, hold it down. It automatically goes up to 450, so I like to turn it down to 400 um, because my hair is pre-lightened. There's iron, it's a really pretty color. The Sutra iron. And there's titanium mirrored plates, which are really pretty too. It's really long the cord won't get tangled because it'll swivel. So I'm going to show you how I iron my hair. I'm also going to be using all seven products today. Um, so I'm going to start off with Seven's Mousse. Once I flat iron my hair, this is what I'll put into my roots because I've been taking Sugar Bear and all of this hair is brand new. Um, brand new hair since I had the baby. I have tons of new growth, so I need to control that um, in the style. So I'm using Seven's mousse, and then um, while I'm flat ironing, I'll be using Heat Defense by Seven. And once I'm done styling for the braid, I'm going to use their dry shampoo. Okay, I'll show you how it's done. So my irons all heat up. They heat up pretty fast, five seconds. You just take a section. The reason you use a comb while you're flat ironing your hair is because you're ironing out um, the tangles. So there's tiny um, tangles that you're not able to see. It's like smoothing out a shirt before you iron it. Same reason you wouldn't iron a wrinkly shirt that's crumpled up. So smooth out your section. It's a single pass, it feels super silky. And follow all, same thing all the way around. Single pass, I use the comb instead of my hand to pick up the hair and just glide down. Oops, the next section came down, but I'm already done. I have pretty easy hair to flat iron because my hair is naturally straight, but you'll take smaller sections if you have wavy or curly hair. I prepped my hair before this video um, using seven seal spray. It evens out the porosity in your hair and um, just, you know, makes everything just really smooth and glassy. Um, I use it as soon as I get out of the shower on towel dried hair before I blow dry and then um, followed by heat defense. So I put that on earlier. You can add more um, section by section as you're flat ironing just to be extra safe. And I'm gonna finish up and I will see you in a second. All right, you 
guys, so I flat ironed my hair completely. I'm going to power off my tool. Um, when you leave on your, your flat irons or your hot tools unnecessarily, you do shorten the lifespan, so don't forget to turn them off. So I just um, applied the mousse to my roots. It helped me hold down all of those flyaways. If you have flyaways, that's a great trick. You can apply mousse to dry hair. Um, you can apply heat defense to wet or dry. Same with mousse, wet or dry. Um, dry shampoo is obviously for dry hair. And um, a cool thing to know about dry shampoo is it can be a style saver. So I like to apply it on hair right after it's fresh out of the shower. It's like um, using deodorant. So you would apply it when you're still clean um, to preserve being clean. So your hair will last an extra three days if you use dry shampoo straight out of um, your blow dry initially. And as the oils uh, produce on your scalp, you will still have clean hair. So I made a really clean section on this side. Um, I'm going to use Seven's dry shampoo. Can you see that? And this just gives me the wearability for my hair for a couple days. I don't have really greasy hair, but I do have really fine hair. So, um, you know, it keeps my hair from looking thin and it also helps give me a little bit more body. So I parted on the right, I have a cowlick over here. So wherever your cowlick is, is where you're going to choose your part. And then I take, I usually have nails and I take my finger here, as big as you want. You can take a large section or a small section. I'm gonna use the comb because I don't have nails right now. And draw a line to create a square. So this is my square. And I'm going to twist in the direction that I'm doing my, my fake braid. So I'm twisting, that's just one, one twist, maybe one and a half. Um, I'm gonna draw another line right here. and pull that over into that next section. Do another twist, pinch with these fingers and hold, draw another line, I'm grabbing it with my middle finger and twist and adding it to that section again and again, as many times as you want. You can stop wherever you want. Um, kind of is like a little dinosaur spine is what I like to call it. I have all these little baby hairs that want to come out. So I'm just going to let them, you know, listen to your hair, whatever. If something's not looking right, then just kind of play with what your hair is naturally trying to do. And it usually looks better if you just let it. So that is um, my finished look with big sections. I'm going to show you the same thing with finer sections. And you can do it closer to your part if you have a lot of baby hair and you're trying to control them. I do the same technique, I just pinch it a little tighter and hold it closer to my hairline so it's not as deep. And then I take one bobby pin I open up the feet, however you'd like. I have one hand, so with my milk. And I insert the feet into the braid, and that's it. That's my little style hack for a fake French braid. On this side, if you'd like to do something else, um, I just pull the section back sometimes you can also leave it down, but you can just twist and twist and twist. This is going back away from my face and I'm just adding a tiny bit of hair as I go. And pull it back. This is super easy. I put a bobby pin right here. And that's how the style works out little guys are driving me crazy. So you can use the dry shampoo to help hold them down. Pomade works as well. They're so short, they just have tons of life to them. I'm 
And there's my little style hack for you. Thanks for watching.